Emos de regenea fane rodactula seos, ornut araxe awe fenoduce asphilas huias. He mata has summon us, aridex if a socks with a domo. Passi du po leporois in a de sato cala pedila. Be demon ectala moio deo an a linkios antein. Ipsa de keru cassi lingufto in goisi caleosa. Keru se nagaren de care camo antas a haius. Hoi menakeru san toi de garanto maloka. Outara pere gerthen ome gara estegananto. Beriman ace agarain, palame dehe halkean enkos. Uk oi as, hamato geduo kunes argoi heponto. Thes specien darato ge harin katacheo en atene. Tandara pantes lao e aper comanante oonto. Heads that are then patros do co, exan de garantes. Twice de peth heros ae guptios erc agreoen, hoste ger ae kufas ein cae moria ede. Cae garatu filos huias hamante theo orisei. Ilion es el polon abe, coe les eni neosin. Antifas aechme tes. Tondagrias hectana kuklops. Ens be ye glafero, pumaton do plisato dorbon. Trace de hoi al oyasan, kai hamen ne steris in hamele. Erunamos do dianahan patroia erga. Al ud host tu leth that adu ramanas kai heon, tu hagadakru heon, agare sato kai meta epe. Kerk luta de nun mel itake sioi ha tiken ebo, ute pathe metere agore genetu teto ogas, ex hu odu seos di osebe koi les eni nusi, nun de tis ho de ge retina reyo tason hike, e neon andron e hoi progenes deroi esin. E et in angelien statu ec luen er chamenoio, hein ge min safa e poihate prateras ge putoito. E et ide mi an a lo pithaus ge tai e dagorue, est las moi doke e nai ane menas e te hoi auto, Zdeus agathon tele se in hoti presin e si menoina, hos fato chaire de fe me ho du se os filos huios, ud are ti den hesto menoine sen dagoruen, ste de me se agore scape tran de ho de hoi embale cheili, ce rux pe se nor camp nu men a me de a edos, pro tane pe ta geran ta katap ta me nas pras e epen, o geran uch ekas hu tas aner ta cha de se ai autas, has la an e gera ma lis da de mal gas hikane, Ut et in angelien stratu ec luan er chamenoio. Hein hu men safa e pohate prateras ge puthoimen. Ut et ide mi an a lo pifaus go mai u dagoruo. Alem an au tu cheas ha moe caca em pesen oiko. Doi at a men pateres than... Estlon apo lesa hos paten umen, humen. Tois de sin basilu e pater tos e pios eien. Nun dao kai polu meids don hade taha oi kan ap hapanta. Pan kudiarae se biotan dabo pam pano lese. Me teri moi mne ste res pechra an uc ethe luce. 
ton andron filoi hui es hoi en dade ge sin aris stoi hoi pa tras menes oi kan aperi gasi ne es aperi gasi ne es dai e kari u hos kau tas e e do sai totu gatra do e do kete loi kai hoi ke charis menos el toi hoi des he meteran polu menoi e mata panta bo usieru ontes kai hois kai pi ontes aigas E lapin e lapinaz du sin pin nu site ai pa ai thopa oinan map serios ta ta de pol la katen et ai ugar et aner hoias o du se se us es gen aren apo oiku amunai he meis du nuti toi oi amu nemen e kaya peta. Lu gale oi tes ome ta kai u deda e kotes alken. E tan amu nai men e moi du na mis ke pare e. U garet ans ke ta er gate tu chatai ud eti kalos. Oi kase mas dio lo le ne mese te te kai autoi. A lus tai des te te ke ik tionas antropus. Hoi peri nai et ai usi te on dupo de sate meinen. Meiti me taas repso sin aga sa menoi kaka erga. Li so mai eimen zdenas olumpiu eide te mistas. He andron agoras eimen lue eide katizde. Sres te filoi kai moi an eas a te pen te. Sres de filoi kai moi an ea sa te pen te i lugro. Te res te me puti pater emos es tlos o dusus. Dus mene on kak dus mene on kak erex en euk ne Midas euk ne midas a caius, ton mapoti numenoi caca reds de te dus meneantes, tu tus otru non tese moi de cer dion ee, humeas este menae ke me dia te prospasinte, E hu mes gepa goi te trachan pote kai tisis e e, ta fragar an kata as tu potip tu soi meta mutho, chre mata pai tis dan tis eos kapo pan ta do te e, nun de moi ak pote, Re tus odunas en balete dumo. He stopped, frustrated, flung the scepter down, and burst out crying. Everyone was seized by pity. No one spoke. They hesitated to answer him unkindly. Then at last Antinous began. Telemachus, you stuck-up, willful little boy. How dare you try to embarrass us and put the blame on us. We suitors have not done you wrong. Go blame your precious mother. She is cunning. It is the third year, soon it will be four, that she has cheated us of what we want. She offers hope to all, sends notes to each, but all the while her mind moves somewhere else. She came up with a special trick. She fixed a mighty loom inside the palace hall, weaving her fine long cloth. She said to us, 
Young men, you are my suitors, since my husband, the brave Odysseus, is dead. I know you want to marry me. You must be patient. I have worked hard to weave this winding sheet to very good Laertes when he dies. He gained such wealth, the women would reproach me if he were buried with no shroud. Please let me finish it. And her words made sense to us. So every day she wove the mighty cloth, and then at night by torchlight she unwove it. For three long years her trick beguiled the Greeks. But when the fourth year's seasons rolled around, a woman slave who knew the truth told us. We caught her there, unraveling the cloth and made her finish it. This is our answer, so you and all the Greeks may understand. Dismiss your mother, let her father tell her to marry anyone his heart desires. Athena, blessed with her intelligence, great artistry and skill, a finer mind than anyone has ever had before, even the braided girls of ancient Greece, Tyro, Alcmene, garlanded Mycenae, none of them had Penelope's understanding. But if she wants to go on hurting us, her plans are contrary to destiny. We suitors will keep eating up your wealth and livelihood as long as she pursues this plan the gods have put inside her heart. For her, it may be glory, but for you, pure loss. We will not go back to our farms or anywhere until she picks a husband. Telemachus insisted, breathing hard. Antinous, I cannot force my mother out of the house. She gave me birth and raised me. My father is elsewhere, alive or dead. If I insist my mother has to leave, Icarus will make me pay the price, and gods will send more trouble. If she goes, mother will rouse up furies full of hate to take revenge, and everyone will curse me. I will not. If you feel upset, you go. Out of my house, stop eating all of my food. Devour each other's property, not mine. Or do you really think it right to waste one person's means of life and go scot-free? Then try it. I will call the deathless gods. May Zeus give recompense someday for this. You will die here and nobody will care. Then Zeus, whose voice resounds around the world, sent down two eagles from the mountain peak. At first they hovered on the breath of wind, close by each other, balanced on their wings, reaching the noisy middle of the crowd. They wheeled and whirred and flapped their mighty wings, swooping at each man's head with eyes like death, and with their talons ripped each face and neck. Then to the right they flew across the town. Everyone was astonished at the sight. They wondered in their hearts what this could mean. Old Halitherses, son of Master, spoke. More than the other elders, this old leader excelled at prophecy and knew the birds. He gave them good advice. Now, Ithacans, listen. I speak especially for the suitors. Disaster rolls their way. Odysseus will not be absent from his friends for long. Already he is near and sows the seeds of death for all of them and more disaster for many others in bright Ithaca. You have to form a plan to make them stop. That would be best for them as well by far. I am experienced at prophecy. My words came true for him, that mastermind Odysseus. I told him when he left for Troy with all the Argives, he would suffer most terribly and all his men would die. But in the 20th year, he would come home unrecognized. Now, it is coming true. Be off. Go home tense to your children, or it'll be worse for them. But I can read these omens better than you can. Many birds go flying in sunlight, and not all are meaningful. Odysseus is dead, away from home. I wish that you had died with him to stop your forecasts. You remain angry, hoping that he will give your household gifts. But let me tell you this, which will come true. You may know many ancient forms of wisdom, but if you tease this boy and make him angry, he will be hurt and never get to act on any of these prophecies of yours. And old man, we will make you pay so much your heart will break, your pain will cut so deep. I will advise Tele Telemachus myself in front of everyone to send his mother back to her father's family to fix her wedding and the gifts a well-loved daughter should have. Unless he does that, we will never cease from this torturous courtship. We are not afraid of anyone, much less this boy, with his long speeches, nor your pointless portents. 
They will not come to pass, and they will make you hated. His house will be devoured, and payback will never come, as long as she frustrates our hopes of marriage. Meanwhile, we will wait in daily hope, competing for the prize, not seeking other women as our wives. Lemachus, his mind made up, replied, El rumache de kayaloi hosoi nestere sagaoi, tauta menuch umeas etilisomai u dagarewo, e de garta isasit haoi kai pantesakaioi. Al agemoi dote nea toen kai e cosetairus. Hoi kemoi enta kai enta dia presosi kelauton. Enigar esparten te kai espilon emai authenta. Noston peus omenos patros den oi homenoio. En tis moi e pesi broton e hosan acuso, ec dios e te malista pere cleos anthropoisen, e men ken patros bioton kai noston acuso, e tan truch homenos per eti claien enioton, e de kai tet neot Tos acuso me de peontos, nos desas de pe tapilen es patridagayan, se matehoi hao kai epictere actere idsco. Pol la malosa eoike kai dianeri meter adoso. He sat down, and up stood mentor. When Odysseus sailed off, this was the friend he asked to guard his house and told the slaves to look to him as master. Mentor addressed the crowd. Keklutade menun meu itakesioi hoti kenepo. Me tiseti profron aganos kai epios esto. Scape tu kos basileus me de presin aisima edos. Alla ye halapos te ye kai aisula redzoi. Hosu tis memne tai oduce os te yoyo. Laon hoisin anasse pater do se pios eian. Alle toi nesteras agenoras u te megairoi. Erden erga biaia kakora pies. Noyoyo, spas gar partem noi kephalas katadusi biaios, oi conoduce us eos ton du keti passina estai, nun dallo demon nemesids domai, hoi yonapantes, estaneo attar uti katap tomenoi epeisi. Paurus nesteras catapau et poloi eontes. Leocritus, Euener's son, replied, Mentor atar terre prenas ele epoion epes, he meas ot nunon catapau emen argaleonde, andrasi cae pleonessi machesas tae peridaiti. E per gar kai odysseus itia ke sios autos epelton, dai numenus catadoma eon nestera sagaus, excela sai megaroio menoi nesse enitumo, uken hoi cacaroita gune, malaper catusa, El ton tal tu ai ke apot mon episkoi, e pleonessi machoito su du katamoiran e epes, al age laoi men skindas tepi erga ekastos, tuto dotrune mentor, hodon a e daliterses, hoi tek te hoi exarches patroioi esin hetairoi, 
aloio kai de takate menos angelion pousetai in if take tele e dodon u pote tauten. The crowd broke up, the Ithacans went home, the suitors to Odysseus's house. Telemachus slipped out and at the beach he dipped his hand in salty gray sea water and asked Athena, Goddess, hear my prayer. Just yesterday you came and ordered me to sail the hazy sea and find out news of my long absent father's journey home. The Greeks are wasting everything, especially these bullying mean suitors. Then Athena came near him with the voice and guise of mentor and spoke to him with words that flew like birds. Telemachus, you will be brave and thoughtful if your father's own forcefulness runs through you. How capable he was in word and deed. Your journey will succeed if you are his. If you are not his son, his true-born son, I doubt you could achieve what, he, what you desire. And it is rare for sons to be like fathers. Only a few are better, but most are worse. But you will be no coward and no fool. You do possess your father's cunning mind, so there is hope you will do all these things. Forget about those foolish su suitors' plans. They have no brains and no morality. They do not know black doom will kill them all, and someday soon. Their death is near at hand. You will achieve this journey that you seek, since I will go with you, just like a father. I will equip a good swift ship for you. Now go back to where those suitors are and get provisions. Pack them in containers, some wine in jars and grain, the strength of men in sturdy skins. And I will go through town calling for volunteers to come with us. There are a lot of ships in Ithaca, both new and old. I will select the best one. We will equip her quickly and sail fast far across the sea. So spoke the goddess, daughter of Zeus. Telemachus obeyed. His heart was troubled as he went back home. He found the arrogant suitors in the hall, skinning some goats and charring hogs for dinner. Antinous began to laugh. He called him and seized his hand and spoke these words to him. Telemachus, you are being so pig-headed. Why not put all your troubles from your heart? Come eat and drink with me, just as before. You know the Greeks will fix it all for you. They will select a ship and crew, and soon you will reach Pylos, where you hope to hear word of your father. But the boy was wary, and said, Antinous, I cannot eat. I have no peace or joy when I am with your selfish suitors. Is it not enough that you destroyed my rich inheritance when I was just a little boy? But now I have grown bigger, and I got advice from other people, and my heart wells up with courage. I will try to bring down doom on your heads here at home or when I go to Pylos. Yes, I will go there as a passenger, although I do not own a ship or have a crew because of you. He snatched his hand away, but as they feasted, the suitors started mocking him and jeering. With sneers, they said, oh no, Telemachus is going to kill us. He will bring supporters from Pylos or from Sparta. He is quite determined or indeed he may be fetching some lethal poisons from the fertile fields of Ephyra to mix up in our wine bowl and kill us. Another proud man said, well, who knows? Perhaps he will get lost in that curved ship and die so far away from all his family, just like his father. And what a pity that would be for us. Then we would have to share out all his wealth and give away the house itself to her his mother and the man who marries her. The boy went downstairs to his father's storeroom, wide and high roofed, piled high with gold and bronze and clothes and chests and fragrant olive oil. Down there, the jars of vintage wine were stored, which held the sweet unmixed and godlike drink, lined in a row against the wall in case weary Odysseus came home at last. The double doors were locked and closely fitted, a woman checked the contents night and day, guarding it all with great intelligence. And that was Euryclea, child of Ops. He called her to the chamber and addressed her. Nanny, please pour sweet wine and jugs for me. 
the second best one, not the one you keep for when the poor unlucky king escapes from evil fate and death and comes back home. Fill up 12 jugs with wine for me and pour me some 20 pounds of fine milled barley groats. All packed in sturdy leather bags. Load up all these provisions secretly. At nightfall, I will come here and get them when my mother has gone upstairs to go to sleep. I am leaving for Sparta and for Sandy Pilos to learn about my father's journey home. At that, his loving nurse began to wail and sobbed. Sweet child, what gave you this idea? Why do you want to go so far? You are an only child and dearly loved. The king Odysseus is gone, lost, far from home, and they will plot against you when you leave scheming to murder us and show this wealth. Stay with us, we who love you. Do not go searching for danger out on restless seas. Telemachus decisively replied, Nanny, you need not worry. Gods have blessed this plan. But promise me you will not tell mother until she notices me gone. Say nothing for 12 days so she will not start crying. It would spoil her pretty skin. At that, the old nurse swore a mighty oath by all the gods that she would keep the secret. And then she drew the wine for him in jars and poured the barley groats in well-stitched bags. Telemachus returned to see the suitors. Meanwhile, bright-eyed Athena had a plan. Resembling Telemachus, she went all through the city, standing by each man, and urged them to assemble by the ship at night, and asked the son of Phronius, Noemon, for his speedy ship. He promised to give it gladly. Then the sun went down and all the streets grew dark. The goddess dragged the ship into the water and she loaded the necessary tackle for a journey. Right at the beach's farthest end, the goddess stood and assembled good strong men as crew. She coached each one. Then eyes ablaze with plans, she went back to Odysseus's house and poured sweet sleep upon the drunken suitors. She struck them and their cups fell from their hands. Disguised as mentor, both in looks and in voice, she called the boy out from the mighty hall and looked intently in his face and said, Telemachus, your crew of armored men is ready at the oar for your departure. Come on, no time to waste, we must be gone. So speaking, Pallas quickly led the boy he followed in the footsteps of the goddess. They went down to the seashore and the ship and found the long-haired sailors on the beach. Twaisi de kai mata e fiare is te lamahoyo dutefaloi e i afaro mata panta garede hathroani megaro metardeme uti papustai ud alaid moai mia doye puthanakusan. Hos arafo ne sas e ge sato, toi dam hapanto. Hoi darapanta farante zeo selmo epino nei. Katasan, hos ekaleosen oduse as filas huias. Andarate lamahas ne os, bain erka de thene. Nei dani prum ne, kata redstato, anki darautes. Hadstato te lamahas, toi de prum ne sinalusan. And the out toy bantas a pea clay easy cathedstone. Toy sin dick minon oranie glau copas atene. Acrae zafron caladont api oina papantan. Tain lamahos that aroisen at potru nas egaleosen. Hoplon haptas die, toy daltru non tos acusan. Histon de latinon coy lace and tosta masold mes. Stesana erantes, catade protonois in adesan. Halcon distia luca eustrak tois in boosin. Epre sen danamos masan histian amphida cuma, stere porphorian megal iache neas uses. He de the en catacuma diae pre susa calelthon. De samanoi dara hopla thoen ananea malainan. Ste santo cre ter as epistafeas oinoio, le bon dath an a toisi theois ai e genetesen. Ec panton de malista dios glau copidi core, panurie menoreg a cae o pede keleothon. <laughs> 